hi guys and welcome back to my channel on today's video I want to talk to you guys real quick about why do most naturals hate humidity on their hair when the humidity loves us now, a lot of naturals don't like their hair being frizzy and fuzzy and some of us don't mind I'm one of them I'm one of them who don't mind the frizzy fuzzy hair the more humidity I get in my hair the happier it is because it draws moisture it feels uh, it feels moisturized I just said that but it feels happy I love it so all right now I am locking my hair and my hair is frizzing up and it's fuzzing up and stuff and it just the humidity is saying oh I love you and I'm saying I love you back mr. humidity man I love you back please give me more like I said in my previous video I feel like the humidity is adding more making my my locks my starter locks be more tighter even when I was a loose natural I didn't mind the humidity as a matter of fact I, as a matter of fact I did a humidity test video that video was so goofy I'll post it and link it here but it was so funny when I came out the house my hair was nice and full and then a few minutes in to being outside it was like drawn up it was doing some certain things and by the end of the humidity test my hair was like shrunken up so I don't really mind it uh, I do have one of my friends my girlfriend she, she be saying she doesn't like she likes her locks to be nice and groomed and partsy and no frizz and stuff like that as far as me I, I don't mind the frizz so I'm just want I just want to ask you guys are you a natural who do not like um, frizzy hair or are you a natural who doesn't really mind frizzy hair if you don't like frizzy hair please tell me why because I'm curious to know is it a uglier look is it making you look like you are a slave or does it make you feel like you want to uh, cut your hair off or put a wig on top of it what is the reason why you don't like fuzzy hair humidity hair and like I said the humidity loves us it it just I don't know I I like it I mean I never did say that I've always liked uh, humid humidity how about whoa Oop, let me beat that out I've always liked humidity in my hair why that's one thing about being out here with bugs and stuff I'm on my way to work I said let me ask this question real quick does it mean you really don't like your hair no uh, but I don't think it's just naturals I don't think it's just black women a lot of women of different colors don't like their natural hair being frizzy and fuzzy too like my one girlfriend she's biracial when she was born she had this big old curly afro she just didn't like did not like her curls so she flat iron and blow dried it so much throughout the years to where she <laughs> knocked them curls out and the only thing it is only thing her hair does is just wave up she likes that way better and even um, uh, white women I see they may add a perm to their hair to do something else like maybe be more curly or even be straight but I just I don't know I don't have a problem with it um, so some of our products will add more moisture from the humidity stop making all that noise out there some of our products will add more moisture to our hair or draw the moisture to our hair it's called humectics and stuff and um, all kind of stuff and people don't want that in their products we all just like what we like we all like what we like uh, I like the humidity on my starter locks I'll be oh, uh, I'm almost one year locked on July 4th 2022 and I I um, you know you guys know I don't like to see parts but my buddy she likes to see parts she likes gel and and it's really something how we all like what we like we all like our locks to look a certain way so some people like theirs they're like super groomed no fuzz and some people like that retwist their hair like every two or three weeks because they hate it that much um, not me uh, no some women some women wants to be completely rostified and don't do nothing to their hair they don't do any type of grooming or retwisting uh, some of them take a long time to, to separate the hair too and when you take a long time to separate your hair you're gonna really have a a locked bush going on <laughs> you're gonna have a locked bush now the one reason why I decided to retwist like every six weeks or maybe even every two months every eight weeks is because 
I notice if you go too long without retwisting your hair, in some cases you have breakage. And I do see like a little breakage up here, right here, which is very common for my hair to, to break. I have not had a, um, a protein treatment in over a year. That's another reason why my hair is, is breaking right here. So wh whenever, I, whenever I would see like little breakage up here and stuff, I would put my protein treatment in. So I got to figure out how to add a protein treatment to my hair without it causing a lot of buildup. I love my protein treatment that I have already, but it's real thick and creamy. And you know, thick and creamy is not uh, the best thing for blockheads because it adds all kind of stuff. But then again, people put gel in their hair. People put shea butter in their hair. They put hair grease in their hair. They somehow get it out, I guess from the detox and stuff. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions about protein treatments for locks, let me know because my hair definitely definitely needs one. I can always tell when I need it. It always starts breaking right here. So that's one reason why I'm not going to go too long without doing a retwist because I don't want my hair to fuzz up and start break, breaking and locking, matting together at the base and start doing weird stuff because that's that's a common thing. Nico, move, boy! You just got to be in my mix. Don't knock down my camera. All right. Uh, so tell me, do you love humidity or do you hate humidity? Or does it doesn't even matter. Some people don't even care. So, I got to go to work. What? I wonder what time it is. I think it's almost 1230. I got to go to work and I just thought I'd drop in with that. I used, I usually put moisturizer on my body before I go to work. But since it's, since I work in a hospital and I'm moving around, I'll be so hot and sweaty, guys. I'll be hot. And it seemed like when I have lotion on, I'll be really sweating and slipping around and stuff. And then I wear that bonnet on my head. The bonnet protects my hair from getting gross stuff in it. But at the same time, it um, woo, it makes me hot. So eventually I will be moving along to another position because I'm just ready to do something different. And I, I just want my hair to be hanging down. I don't want it all up in no bonnet no more. Because I'm, one thing I'm afraid of that may happen, I don't know. You guys know I already got sensitive edges from from traction alopecia from getting my hair braided too tight back in the day anyway I don't want that bonnet to start rubbing my hair off so I try to be conscious and try to put the bonnet back some but look all that traction alopecia is not our friend stop putting on the tight styles in your hair but at least it's trying to grow back in but yeah guys that is it um, let me know what you think do you hate humidity? Do you love it? I love humidity. As a matter of fact, I want to ride my bike. So I'm going to finish getting my house together and clean up my yard, get back up to par with my house and my life, and I'm going to ride my bike. And I'm going to go outside. And I want to get in a swimming pool, but I'm scared uh, CC going to be in the pool. Cause so, Hey, I'm telling you guys, y'all think y'all think CC is over with. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 19. The number 19, baby. Y'all think CC is over with the whole seventh floor at my hospital. It's CC. It's still here. It still it still exists. So I don't even know if I should even try to even go swimming uh, because I don't know. People are just careless. They think it's over with, and they just want to be walking around like everything's normal. I can't go swimming with a mask on. I don't know how that works. Come here, boy. Come and say hi to the people. Come say hi to the people. Come on. Here goes Nico Biko. Nico Biko train. Hey, boy. Hi. Hi, boy. Yeah, I'm ready to get back athletic and ready to get back into my videos. Yeah, I ain't got time to be worried about no CC though. We gotta figure out how to do the CC thing, not do the CC thing. Can we please get rid of CC? Can we please? Anyway, I think I'm rambling at this time. Hope you enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hmm. Hey.